Have you ever seen one of these? Well, yes, it is a pin, but it is a special kind of pin. Yet, I'm still willing to bet you've probably seen it around. If you've ever been in a post office, a U.S. government building, or in the military, then you have most definitely seen one of these. But do you think you could probably put one together? Well, maybe if I gave you a few minutes, you could probably figure out how to assemble these pieces in the right way. But what if I asked you to do it? in the pitch black dark, because that is what dozens in Greensboro are doing to make sure this pin is a reality. I'm very proud. Uh, I've been, been managing this area for 23 years. You know, we can't join the military, um, but this is something that we do to help the military. Greensboro Industries of the Blind has been making the skill craft pin for 50 years. Clifford Alexander has been here for 47 of those 50 years, and Lynn Larson has been here almost 40 years. They, like everyone else directly working on the pins, are legally blind. Being able to make such a quality product, though, goes a long way. That just sends a signal that vision impaired people can make a product that almost everybody likes to use. Remember, this pin was originally designed for the military. The full length of the pin is 150 nautical miles on a map. The back barrel is the length of a two-minute fuse, the front tube used for emergency tracheotomies, and the tip was used to measure women's fingernails to make sure they comply to uniform standards. This pen is asked to do quite a lot. Not only does it have to write in extremely cold temperatures, I mean, we all remember March of this year, but it also has to be able to write in extremely warm temperatures like in a desert. And if that wasn't enough, it also has to be able to write for nearly one continuous mile. Really, the only thing more remarkable than the pen itself are the people who are making it.